what the clamp is going to look like. We're going to break this down, but just so I can kind of show you guys. So uh, the foundation of it is like the one arm swing, right? But the clean is just a clean right up to the shoulder. Grab your weight and you're going to just cheat curl it up to your shoulder, just like that. Okay, so get up to this rack position. So the rack position, we want to have um, forearms straight up and down. Okay, hand should be below your chin. So hands below the chin. Um, shoulders are square. It should kind of be hit on this sort of triangle. So it's like the kettlebell hits your forearm, your upper arm, and you should be able to touch your thumb to your collarbone. From the top position, you guys are going to go uh, like this. So you're just going to go like this. Imagine like you're tossing the kettlebell back behind you and then just reverse the motion and clean it back up to your shoulder. Number one thing I, would, I, I think, which is the most common thing, is getting too much impact on the wrist, right? You guys feel bells coming up and slams you on the wrist, right? So what you have to do, you have to think about um, uh, a kettlebell swing, you're projecting the weight out in front of you. A clean is like straight up your body, right? So it's not, it's kind of like the snatch and we're not trying to project, like I said, we're not trying to project the weight out, we're trying to project it straight up. The other thing that will help is the kettlebell. Um, if you, you want this arm to literally be like in contact with your torso the whole entire time, right? So if, what a lot of people do is go out here and then you get a lot more impact and stuff on the bell. You can give yourself some help with a handle. Okay, so you can go like this and go like that with the off hand. You can also go here and give yourself a little help this way. It can also be like from a dead stop and do it like that.